sufferers that came together to help break awareness on sickle cell anemia. And we came together because one of our friends, Leona Dehaney, died in 2005. And we just felt that it's time to help raise awareness. Okay, yeah, sickle cell disease is basically um, a blood disorder, and um, wherein like, our blood cells doesn't carry oxygen efficiently around the body. So whereas someone was sick without sickle cell disease, but their blood cell is um, perfectly shaped like full moon, our blood cells are like um, half moon. Mm -hmm. Like what's the oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> So it doesn't glide and travel around the body um, well enough. So therefore, when we have a crisis, it's the point where the blood cells get stuck in the joints and stuff like that. So therefore, there's um, lack of oxygen and stuff like that. We formed in 2005, we started in 2005, my first show was in 2006. Yeah. 
you don't want to see those ones so much. Like one of the things that I've been on some families that they go through yeah. and they find it difficult is like um, seeing us in a crisis and then you can't do anything. I, exactly, like it. Just, just watching your child cry. So this anemia is a genetic condition, so in other words it's inherited. You can't catch it, it's not, it's not like an infection. It's a condition that affects what we call the red blood cells. Uh, the red blood cells are part of the blood when you cut yourself, that red gooey stuff you see. Yeah. Uh, the reason why it's red is because it's got in it what we call hemoglobin. So the type of hemoglobin you have is dependent on what you get from your parents. But in some parts of the world, some people inherit unusual hemoglobin. So for example, sickle hemoglobin. Now if somebody has one A and one S, so say for example they've inherited an A from one of their parents and an S from the other, then they have what we call sickle cell trait, which is not an illness, it's not a disease. It doesn't affect them you know, in any way in the normal living day-to-day -day conditions. Um, they're just what we call a healthy carrier. So they're carrying that unusual gene, but they haven't got you know, the full-blown illness, if you see what I mean. Now, there are some people who would inherit the two S genes. And if they've inherited the two S genes, they have sickle hemoglobin from both parents. The main issue with sickle cell is that the normal red blood cells, when I'm talking about hemoglobin A, which contains mostly normal red blood cells, the red blood cells are supposed to be round and soft and spongy, just like a soft donut. And they're able to go through the blood vessels very, very easily, without any problems. Now, if you've got sickle cell disease, instead of your red blood cells being round and soft and spongy, they become like a, like a half moon or a banana shape. And they're very hard and rigid, yeah? unlike the normal red blood cells, which is spongy yes. and soft. So because they become rigid, they can then get stuck in the blood flow. So they, because of their shape, they can hook up together. And because they're hard, they can't get through and pass each other easily in the blood vessels. And when you get many of them you know, trying to get through you know, very small blood vessels, they can jam up. And as a result of them jamming up, just like, you know, imagine a, a traffic jam on the, on the M25. When you get a whole load of cars trying to get through and they're all in different shapes and sizes or they're all in different directions, they're not going to be able to flow through. So it's a similar thing. So when they all jam up, it stops blood flowing through that part where the congestion has happened, yeah, where the blockage has happened. So the blood can't flow through beyond where the blockage is. And when you get that problem, then that's when you give rise to pain. And that's when you get what we call a sickle cell crisis. When a whole load of blood vessels are stopped blood flow, it leads to pain and it leads to a sickle cell crisis. Um.